Dear viewers, I hope you are all fine. This ultrasound video shows a case of intestinal obstruction with perforation. The classical presentation is sudden and severe abdominal pain, sometimes with localized peritonism or a rigid abdomen on examination. You can see the gallbladder, liver and a fluid a significant amount of fluid is seen along the hilum of the liver. The fluid is thick and turbid, having multiple internal echoes, opacities. The fluid is thick and turbid. Bowel perforation is an acute surgical emergency where there is release of gastric or intestinal contents into the peritoneal space. The primary symptoms of gastrointestinal perforation are severe abdominal pain and tenderness. You can see the fluid is also seen in the area between the liver and right kidney. That is Morrison's pouch, also called a pectorinal recess. So along with the Severe abdominal pain and tenderness, the abdomen may also protrude or feel hard to touch if the hole is in the person's stomach or small intestine. The onset of pain is usually sudden, but if the hole is in the large bowel, the pain may, the pain may become on gradually. Now the constipation and fecal impaction can frequently be seen especially in elderly and debilitated patients. On the other hand, fecolomas rarely can cause colonic ischemia and st stercoral perforation. Mainly elderly, weak and bedridden patients are affected. The main trigger reason is chronic constipation. Now you can see the fluid is also seen in the lower abdominal cavity. In the area just above the partially filled urinary bladder, lower abdominal cavity. Now the history of some patients is usually severe and general, generalized abdominal pain, upper abdominal pain, gradual and localized pain slowly, anorexia, nausea and vomiting. Again, you can see the thick and turbid fluid in the lower abdominal cavity and in the upper abdominal cavity as well. So on examination, rigid abdomen and general tenderness, guarding and rebound. Bowel sound range from quiet to absent. Pathophysiology is gastric and duodenal ulceration, infection, for example, diverticulitis, appendicitis, ischemia and cancer, blunt and penetrating trauma, ingestion of corrosive materials, idiogenic causes that is ERCP, colonoscopy, laparoscopy, biopsy. Now the role of imaging is very important. If perforation is suspected, then an erect chest x-ray should be performed as well as abdominal x-ray. This image shows a very large volume of gas under the diaphragm due to bowel perforation. Gastrointestinal perforation occurs when a hole forms all the way through the stomach, large bowel and small intestine. It can be due to a number of different diseases including appendicitis and diverticulitis. So it can also be the result of trauma such as knife wound or gunshot wounds. Now you can see the fluid is also seen in the lower as well as in the upper abdominal cavity. The fluid is thick and turbid. The bowel sounds are missing. 
the gut movements are totally missing and the patient has been experiencing an intense pain nausea and vomiting are usually seen you can find some information in the description of this video thanks for watching please subscribe my channel if you do like this video please click the like button thanks